Hey y'all, this is Zach with Meals Under Pressure. All right, tonight we're gonna be making another Korean beef recipe. We've got one in our cookbook, we've got one on YouTube. This is the second one, uh, just as good, maybe even a little bit better, and I think easier. Um, so we've got, uh, we've got two pounds of lean ground beef. You wanna go with lean ground beef, we've got two pounds. If you're only cooking for about two people, I'd go with one pound. Um, Unless you like leftovers, because that's my favorite leftovers. Yeah, so also good. we've got, thanks to uh, a friend on our Facebook group page, we were using, you know, carrots that we were using or a head of lettuce that we that we cut up but he suggested going with these little packs of, of coleslaw mix it's got the shredded lettuce i'm sorry shredded cabbage cabbage not lettuce and the carrots already so we've got two bags of this again if you're going with just two people i go with one bag um we're going to use some some minced garlic bean sprouts we've used this stuff in a can before okay, and it was okay good. it was good uh but i like the fresh ones that i got in the produce section so sesame oil Soy sauce, lighter brown, light or dark brown sugar, doesn't matter, and ginger powder. So we're gonna get started browning our beef and we'll be back. All right, so we're turning on the saute function and we add about a tablespoon of oil. Now or, here's- Or spray oil, because I like you spray want. pan. <laughs> All right, here's a trick to getting really brown ground beef. So. Drop it like that, so one flat side is on there, and let it just brown for five minutes. So it's gonna get that entire surface of that one side brown. Five minutes later, flip it over, do the other side for five minutes. So we've gotta do, that's the first pound, we've we gotta do the other pound, um, and then we'll show y'all what to do next. So we'll be, be back in a few. All right, so we browned our beef, two pounds of it, this is the first pound. It's got a good, got a good color to it. All right, so the second pound's already in there, we're going to put the first pound back in. Now we got our two bags of coleslaw mix with the shredded cabbage and carrots in it. I think these are the bags of 14 ounces a piece. So that's going on top. It looks like a lot, but it's going to cook down. Right, we got our bag of bean sprouts. And again, if you can't find the fresh bean sprouts, if you go and get the, the ones in the can, that's fine too. We've done that before. I just, I like, I prefer the, the fresh. All right, so I've got a quarter to a quarter cup, yeah, quarter cup of, of the brown sugar. You can use light or dark. Mix that in. Oops. I knew you were going to do that. Zach Ward. <laughs> I'm messing up your kitchen again. All right, so a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of soy sauce goes in there. We got two to three tablespoons of minced garlic going on top. Now, this is the flavor right here. Two teaspoons of sesame oil. Alexa, stop. One of our timers. All right, and I've got a, was a tablespoon of ground ginger. All right, take your lid. This one, we don't have to set the seal. It automatically seals itself. Uh, pressure cook or manual button, whatever's on your model. And this one we have to start. So we're going two minutes for this. And in the meantime, we've already started cooking some rice. So we're gonna put over some rice and uh, top it with a fried egg. So we'll see all of you. All right, so we cooked it on high pressure for two minutes and did a quick release at the end. And we topped ours with a fried egg and some green onions. And if you want to put a little more soy sauce on there, you can. Folks, this is a really good recipe. You got some ground beef on hand, need to, something to make with it. This is a good recipe, Korean beef. All right, if you like this video, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Meals Under Pressure, or we also have a Facebook group page called Meals Under Pressure, where we offer a free cookbook. So we're gonna get down to eating, and we will see y'all next time.